Welcome back, everybody. This is the curator of the most <laughs> unoriginal Magic the Gather YouTube channel ever made. Once again, it's Brody with Alfonso Investments. Uh, today's video is all about getting free shit. Uh, anybody likes free stuff? You can tune into this video. Um, since COVID-19, everybody's struggling to find new ways to play Magic the Gathering. So we're going to Discord and we're going online. And we're doing online tournaments, uh, playing Paper Magic over webcam. Now, I don't really want to discuss, you know, all the nuances of playing over webcam. What cards are good? What cards are kind of taboo? What cards are hard to play via webcam? You know, of course, cards where, you know, reveal reveal a card from your hand to your from your opponent you know it's kind of hard to it's all based on the honor system so there's a there's ups and downs of playing online um via webcam on the discord but the upside is one you get to play cardboard magic so that's something that a, a lot of people have been doing over the last couple of months and two if you get subscribed to the right channels on discord um you can enter and win free prizes so right now uh one of the events that i've been playing is uh, magic uh, stronghold games so stronghold games is events on the during the week you know you, if you not necessarily win pioneer is pretty popular if you win you get uh, you might get a prize packs um, and there's even participation packs so that's cool the kicker is um, you do have to buy $25 worth of product from their store and then they will mail you the prizes free uh, of charge so they'll include the prizes in uh, whatever mail order you make at 25 bucks or more i think it's a pretty good deal uh you play a couple weeks uh on the discord and you know you get into some paper magic keep your keep your magic deck building alive and actually clean up uh get some free prizes so i try to make a double shot and i'll go and i'll order a couple cards that i'm looking for anyway uh singles you know just right around the 25 dollar mark uh it's good because it drives it drives customers to their online store helps them increase sales and it's probably a good idea for your local game store to uh, survive in these times they actually do a really good job of it so kudos to joe soon over at uh stronghold games it's a lot of fun playing there met a lot of good people on the discord uh so this is some stuff that i picked up wanted to pick up for uh seven point uh singleton uh old school so you got a giant tortoise, pick that up, a couple of those, an Azure Drake, um, and a Control Magic. Well, it looks like an older whiteboard version of the Control Magic for an old school seven point singleton. And then, what else do we got in here? Promo packs. So yeah, right now they're giving away Kaldine promo packs if you join, join an online event. Um, and it looks like Zendikar Rising promo pack. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Drain Power. This is another revised card that I think is a great card. I Nobody really kind of recognizes it when uh, you're playing Commander multi-format. It's pretty cool. Uh, somebody's wrapped out, maybe a green player. Uh, you can actually empty their mana pool. And, you know, spend, spend it as you will. Ah, more, cool. More uh, 7.0 old school singleton. This is Mahatmi Dijin. He's a big old 5 6 Serendip Afrit and Air Elemental from Unlimited. Um, something that most people don't know about. Um, I, I kind of caught on to this a little while ago. There are formats like the old school formats, and people kind of knock them, balls them, and say, oh, that's stupid, you know, playing old revised cards, 93, 94. It's kind of, you know, like Popper. It's like a peasant vision or peasant type of format or just kind of a niche silly format but that's actually when you consider the fact that there are these formats that are played and you have to use cards from 1993 and 94 or the original art printing of them that is another reason why uh, a lot of these older cards are going up uh, it's because people want to play these older old school formats so there is there is player base um, it's not just speculators but a lot of people don't play those formats. You know, they're big into Commander and they're big into a lot of uh, collecting maybe. But they think, oh, the reserve list is going crazy. Da, da, da. There's actually people playing these cards. And I think that as a player, um, 
what you want to do is you know stay current in the game because the players who are current in the game have been playing Magic the Gathering since you know they were kids know what trends and what cards you know are potentially potentially speculative cards you know maybe uh maybe have an interesting interaction if you stay current with the game you will have a better sense of what cards to buy and what cards may go up in the future um, there's a lot of people that are oh i'm big time collectors this collectors that collectors don't actually have a player's intuition so that is something that you know if you are a, a magic the gathering player oh, promo promo code for arena no one cares uh yeah if you are keeping your skills current you do play different formats modern commander legacy pioneer even or some of these old school formats you get a better sense of what cards to buy uh, when there's heavy activity in the market because you're current in the game. I want to say cards like Didgeridoo and the Changeling mechanic and stuff like that. Players who have a player's intuition will have a better chance of spotting uh, investable vehicles of Magic the Gathering cards um, because they're in tune with the game. So I, I play all my cards. I enjoy playing the cards. And most of all these cards that I bought will be played. So what do we get in there? Uh, 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 let's see. We got Caldine, Snow Lands. That's nice. I want to get more of these snow-covered uh, lands, snow-covered islands. Um, just because I do find that I'm short on snow lands. I didn't get a lot of, didn't open a lot of, or any of the, you know. Well, I opened Ice Age, but I didn't open a lot of any Cold Snap. Now, and since Ice Age, uh, Snowlands, there really, there's really no reason to play them. But now they're bringing back a lot of these mechanics, and Snowlands are, yeah, where, what the, where's the rare? Oh, so the backwards, it's the front. Okay. Saga, Cosmos Charger. Yeah, no one cares. Okay, so anyway, that's my spiel on online playing. Paper magic on the Discord. The rest, mail opening day is pretty cool. Uh, do have a pile of mail, little mail bags and such. Get Brody's tool out. And see what we got in here. So all these are cards that you know slow to come in the mail, uh, but I've been sort of just setting them aside as they come in because. You know, it's good content for a video. So let's, the first what I'm buying video didn't go off too well. Uh, since then, a few things have happened. So uh, what I'm buying is Gravity Sphere and Spinal Villain. Hmm, interesting choice. Uh, Gravity Sphere, Legends and Chat World, Spinal Villain. He's also a little, uh, little Spinal Boy. He destroys the blue creature, so he's from Legends, and he's not too pretty bad. Let's take a look here. What do we got in your bag number? What's in Dad's bag number two? <laughs> uh, this is a cool card. This is this is something I was hoping to, to hoping to also get for old school singleton. Uh, sometimes with these old school singleton formats, you know you. You do only need one copy of the card, but if a card is is you know a couple of bucks, or it is maybe as a reserve list card, or it's a card that you you actually just like the art on it, or you can see yourself playing it, uh, grab yourself a few copies. Uh, Aleola Pile. Let's try saying that ten times fast. Aleola Pile, uh, Fallen Empire's reserve list artifact. It's kind of shitty, but you know in uh, old school singleton, it's two damage on a stick. Uh, it's colorless so it gets around like things with protection from colors can just finish off your opponent so that's cool uh, order of leap burr yeah order more fallen empires cards these are you know your weenies white weenies and such with pro black that have a white uh boast ability on the front end give them one oh or first strike for a, a white chain lightning needers this is this is uh, actually a lot of these are in good condition. I'm actually surprised. Hmm. A lot of times they overrate their cards. 
uh, from some of these places, but this is pretty cool. Uh, Copper Tablet from Unlimited. That's a neater, neat card. And then Aleola Pile. Say that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times fast. Aleola Pile, Aleola Pile, Aleola Pile. There's a pile of Aleolas. Uh, Divine Offering. Awesome card in Singleton. Uh, the Legends print is pretty sweet. Um, there is also a Mirage print, but it's not legal in old school, and the art is just pretty spectacular on this particular version of the card. Like it, and you need a Savannah Lion. Savannah Lion's not a reserve list, but, you know, why not buy the unlimited Savannah Lions rather than the revised Savannah Lions uh, if you just need one of them. It's kind of cool. Um, interesting thing about Savannah Lions is... Uh, you know, it's in revised and it's in a few other sets. It's like Winter Orb. It, it just keeps getting reprinted. Um, if you like a card, it's a good idea to try and uh, upgrade your card. Like, say, mm, you're running revised copies of Savannah Alliance, and then you mm, want to move yourself into an unlimited mm, copy of Savannah Alliance. Probably a card that, you know, it's like Birds of Paradise. It's not going anywhere. It's uh, very sought after in the unlimited version. I like it a lot, but this is already over 10 minutes. This is what I'm buying.